Hello everyone, welcome to TRO Z. Today video, I'm going to tell you about how to increase rent if you don't have money. So every PC has rent with two data. If required, it will load data. In general, the more rent, the faster the programs will run. The computer will run slow if there is little space in RAM. In this case, you can increase the virtual memory. The virtual memory is more like RAM. In simple terms, virtual memory is like creating some space on the hard drive and using it as a RAM. The file for the virtual memory in the hard drive is called page file, and that page file is invisible as a default. I will show you how to calculate the amount of virtual memory size that you should create for your computer. First, check RAM. So go to your device properties and check how much RAM does your computer have. Second is how much free space that your computer have. It is necessary for the virtual memory you are gonna create. So go to my computer and check the drive. In this case, we must check the drive which does not include the operating system file. But for some computers, it has only one drive. For that computer, you can use look at this C for creating the virtual memory. For my computer, I have 16 gig RAM and 146 gig free space in this T. So let's calculate the virtual memory by using this equation. I will show you the equation for calculating virtual memory. The equation is your computer's RAM multiplied 1024 multiplied 1.5 equal to the size that the virtual memory you should create. Let's open the calculator to calculate that. My computer has 16 kit RAM, so I type 16 multiply 1024 multiply 1.5 and it's equal to 24577 math. So I, I want to change it into kit, so I divided by 1024 again and I got 24 gig. I have 146 gig free space in this T, so I can create 24 gig virtual memory in that drive. Let's change 24 gig to megabyte. So 24 multiply 1024 and got 24576 megabyte. Let's go to next step. So open RAM out by clicking Window plus R and then type s1sdm.cpl. Afterward, go to the advanced step and click performance setting and then click the advanced step again and click the change button. Right now, my computer has virtual memory which is made by the system as a default. The amount of virtual memory in my computer right now is 8704 megabyte. So, 1024 megabyte is equal to 1 gig, so I have 8.5 gig virtual memory. Um, according to the equation I've mentioned earlier, I can create 24576 megabyte, also known as 24 gig virtual memory, to my computer. So I uncheck the automatically managing page file and click D drive and choose custom site. I free 24576 to pull initial site and measurement site column, and then click the set button. Oh, sorry, I forgot to remove it. the default system manage virtual memory site. So click the C drive again and click new packaging file and click set button. Once this message box is showed, don't worry, we also create virtual memory in the D drive. So go back to the D drive column and click set button. One click OK, then we will see to the packaging file site for all driver is 3320 megabyte. Right now, I'm sure you got some question. I created 24576 megabyte virtual memory, but why that is 32280 megabyte? It happens because the system managed virtual memory that we remove, which is located in this C, 
is not removed by the system right now. So the Fajua memory that we created in this D and the system managed Fajua memory, which is which is from this C, a combine and the system knows the total Beijing file size for all driver is 33280 megabyte. To solve this problem, you should restart your computer and then check this again. I will also show you what happens after I restart my computer. I am finished restarting my computer, so let's check it. As I said before, the virtual memory size changed to the value that we created. In conclusion, I want to tell you that this type of increasing RAM is not as effective as increasing real physical RAM. But comment to not doing anything at all, the performance will be better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next video.